Good morning, kiddos. So I'm here with Serenity again, and we are gonna talk about the difference between high notes and low notes, or high sounds and low sounds. And we're actually gonna be able to see with our eyes, see with our eyes the difference between the high sounds and the low sounds. So here we are gonna go into a science lesson, just a little bit. Sound, is caused by vibration. Say it with me, vibration. Vibration is what causes sound. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your hand, I want you to put it right here on your throat, and then I want you to sing the first part of our Five Little Ducks song. Ready? Five little ducks went out to play. Did you notice, did you feel the vibrating? Or if you just go, la, 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 there's the vibrating. Or if you just say, good morning, how are you? You can feel the vibrating. And that is what happens, or that is caused by, you have what are called vocal cords, and they vibrate. Whenever you push air through them to talk, they'll vibrate. And that's how you end up with the sound. Same thing, when you are for instance playing an instrument and you pluck a string it causes it to vibrate and we'll look really closely here in a second about the difference between high vibrations and low vibrations but let's talk about the other instrument families first so with string instruments what is it that vibrates i just i just told you what is it the strings very good now with brass instruments, the brass family, we practice this cool thing called buzzing. What is it that vibrates in the brass family in order to make sound? Our lips, remember? Yeah, because you have to make this sound. Let's see if I can do it, ready? <laughs> It's a really weird sound and then it goes in the little the little tube thing and then makes it sound really cool. What about the woodwind family? What is it that vibrates? It splits the air and causes what to vibrate? The reed, very good. Oh my goodness, you guys are so smart. The reed, it's usually a little piece of wood that goes in the instrument and then in your mouth and it'll vibrate when you blow air into it, causing the sound. Now percussion is interesting because you have to hit it in order to get it to vibrate. So for example, if I were to hit the soundboard, which is what this is called of the harp, you can hear the strings vibrate a little bit, but you can also hear it makes a sound because the soundboard then has vibrated. So with the percussion family, whether it is a snare drum head or a marimba key whatever it is you hit it and it vibrates and that is what causes the sound and it's very very fun so let's get into the difference between high vibrations or high sounds and low vibrations or low sounds so more science are you ready sound travels in what is called waves sound waves and they kind of look like this they travel through the air like this like an ocean wave kind of. Now, if the sound waves or the waves are closer together and taller, it is high. If it's like this, it's high. If they are further apart and they are shorter, they are low. And I'll show you here in just a second because it's really, really cool. So, Let's move to Serenity and see what it looks like. All right, so this is the higher side of the harp. You can tell because the strings are shorter. Now, when I pluck the string, look very closely. Let's look again, look again, ready? One more time, ready? You can see a tiny little vibration. Let's look a little bit closer, ready? Now I want you to listen, just listen to the sound. Ready? 
Very good. Now let's move on to the lower side. So the lower side of the harp has long strings, big, long strings that go from the bottom all the way up to the top. Now, these look really cool. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to play this one. Ready? You can see that vibration even just a little bit better, can't you? Look at that. So you can see that it's vibrating. It has, when it vibrates, it moves slower so you can see it better, but it also takes up a lot more space. Ready? Let's try again. Let's look again. And see there, it starts to move even slower. We're gonna stop it. Let's go even lower. Let's try this one, ready? Whoa, how cool is that? I'm gonna show you this video of Winnie while we do a test. Winnie, say hello. While we do a test, we're gonna do a test. I'm gonna test you to see if you can hear the high sounds and the low sounds. So when I play a note, I want you to say if it is high or if it is low. Ready for one? Is that high or is that low? How about this one? Is it high or is it low? Say it out loud. All right, one more, ready? Or a couple more, we'll do a couple more. Is that high or is that low? Another one. Here's another one. And let's do one more. All right, kiddos, I hope that you got them all right. I'm sure that you did. You guys are super, super good listeners. So that's the difference between high sounds and low sounds. So while you are going about the rest of your day, it would be super fun, I think, if you could identify high sounds and low sounds as you go about your day, either listening to music, listening to the birds, listening to TV or whatever it is that you're doing, reading a book, whatever it is, Think about what the high sounds are and the low sounds are. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. I hope that you are having a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy.